guys, it's Mike Chen. I am here in Lima, Peru. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I think of South American fare, I think of barbecued meats. That's why I'm here at El Hornero to begin. It's just gonna be a lot of meat. Let's get started. What this place is known for is the parilla. And parilla means grilled meats, but here, it's, it's just a massive platter of all sorts of different cuts of meat cooked in different ways. And this is just the first stop of this meat tour. So you know what? Bring it on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna, wow. That's all for me. I don't know why it's all, all the way over there. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Gracias. Here's what we got. If we're giving points for presentation here, this is this is like a 20 out of 10. First of all, it's a personalized stove with just a mass of mixed meats on top. Wooden charcoal, heating everything up. I kind of made a mistake. I got everything medium. I, sh I should have got a medium rare because it's still cooking as we speak. I see a lot of, a lot of different types of meats here. Steak, I see beef hearts, blood sausage, chorizo, chicken. This is a meat lover paradise on a plate. Let's just get started with a nice piece of steak. <laughs> You smell so yummy. Guys, just remember, that's something you should only say to food and never on a date. Nice, looks like it's still a little medium. Oh, wow, that is tender. Oh. There's nothing on here but a bit of salt. And that's all you need when the meat is, is premium. And this cut of meat, look at this. Look how tender this meat is. I'm just barely pressing my fork on it. And do you see the juice? Each time I, I gently tap it, juice oozes out. This is a beautiful, tender, juicy piece of steak. And what's amazing is that it's it just like tossed on a pile with a bunch of other meats, but it on its own, this is a star. This is so good. I'm gonna grab this piece. This has been uh, more directly on the heat source, and that's why it's cooked a little more than I like. This is more like medium well. Oh, that's delicious. You know when meat is good? When you when you just can't stop eating it. Like you can't. This piece I got my eyes on because it's like full of seasoning here. Mmm, tons of garlic. Whoa, <laughs> that cut really easy. I think this is cow kidney. Oh, oh that's great. It's not gamey. It's slightly organy. That's probably why they got all the garlic on this. It's slightly crunchy. Mm. Wow. Very charcoal -y. I don't think I ever had this. But if you like innards or organs, give this thing a try. Oh, there's a pork chop under all this. I, I love, oh. Did I even need to slice this? I don't think so. After the cow heart and the steak, this might be my favorite cut of meat. This thing is ridiculously tender. And what I love about all this, it's not overly done. Nothing is seasoned extravagantly. It's just some salt on quality meats that's barbecued to perfection. It's unfiltered, it's unadulterated. It's, it's not made up in any way. All this is just to highlight the meat itself. And I'm telling you guys, if you're a meatitarian like me, this, this thing speaks to your soul. It really does. You know what? Oh. I think I found a way to make this better because I do feel like the meat is lacking a little bit of heat. Put the sauce on the pork chop and this has got some cilantro. I feel like it's got some habanero. That's the way to do it. I feel like that spice highlights the meat flavor even more. And if it gets a little cold, just, just heat it up a bit more because you see this plate right here? You see all the stuff on the bottom? That's all fat from the chicken, the pork, the beef. That's good stuff. Don't sleep on that. Wow, that's why I love this. It's delicious and it's a lot of fun. This restaurant is known for this and trust me, they knocked this dish out of the park. All right, just a few more pieces of meat and then we'll head off to location number two. My quest for a great barbecue takes me to this beautiful scenic area in Lima, Barranco. And the air is fresh. I'm right by the ocean, it's scenic. It's a great night for some barbecued meats. And to kind of tell me more about what I'm eating tonight, let's go meet my friend, Patricia. Hi. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for uh, taking me here. 
where are we? Okay, so we're on Tio Mario. It's a very famous restaurant in Barranco. Uh -huh. We're gonna eat beef hearts along with some potatoes and corn. So yeah, sure, let's go in. Let's do it. It's also with a beautiful view. It has the the bridge there. Uh, it's called the, the Bridge of the Sides. Uh -huh. So you should actually cross the bridge without breathing. You, oh wait, you should cross this bridge without breathing? Yeah, and at the same time, make a wish. I could run across. I think people like get prepared for that. <laughs> I'll do it after dinner. I'll make a wish. I'll do it after dinner. We'll see how far I get. I don't know how much. Uh, I don't know how much air I have in my system with all the meat that that we're eating. So we're we're, we're eating. Uh, was it anti anticucho? Anticucho. Yeah. What is that? Beef's heart. And this is a very common dish in Peru. Um, it's not like a dish. It's more like an entry. It's uh -huh. more like an appetizer. It's an appetizer. Yeah. Beef hearts an appetizer. What's the main main course? The entire cow. <laughs> What did we end up ordering? I heard like quattro or something. So four, four, four sticks, and we're getting into cucho. What else? Gizzard. Gizzard, great. Then two types of cow intestines. Cow intestines, love it. I love intestines. I don't know. I mean, they're crunchy. I had them before. Okay. Do you like cow intestines? Um, not really. They're too chewy for me, for my taste. But I can't wait. That's a lot of beef. Yeah, that's four palitos, four sticks. I love it when things are cooked on a skewer. I feel like ever since I was little, um, the best, most delicious food I had in China were on skewers. And now every time I see a skewer, I'm just like, <laughs> yummy. I'm just gonna give you one right here. You got the smaller ones, yeah? I'm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm trying to be stingy with her. She wants a smaller one. What is here? Yeah, that's the mix. All the innards are kind of mixed together. Everything is barbecue, so you see a lot of char on these pieces. and. My mouth is watering because you got, I love tripe. Oh, here we go. And this is a gizzard. This potato Potatoes. I dig. Yes. This is a Peruvian yellow potato. Yes. We got two types of sauces. This is ricotto. Ricotto? Yeah. So this is a spicy, non spicy. All right, you ready? Yes. I love this so much. Yeah. Mm hmm. Very tasty. This is better than the ones I had in the Mitsura. Miss. Mitsura. Thank you. It's better because there's a lot more smoky flavor in here. Like I can taste the barbecue. So you're saying this is like an appetizer. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm at. like. What what are they eating after this? Anything? No, this is supposed to be a family dish. Uh -huh. So like for four people. This right now is for four people. Yes. That's not true. I'm, I'm, we're gonna eat this. I mean, I, you might not eat that much. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat most of this. This is tiny. This. Is, come on, I can lift this plate. This is not a big plate. I can I can totally I can totally do this. But I love the beef heart because it's so lean, but yet it's not like, you know, it's not hard. It's actually quite tender. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a borderline between between beef and gizzard. Mm -hmm. And you ready to try a gizzard? Here you go. Here's a gizzard. Thank you. I, I love gizzard. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I love it. There's really no foul taste to it. Mm. I mean, it doesn't taste like innards. If you can imagine like crunchy chicken, not like you know, crispy chicken like you know KFC or anything, like crunchy meat. Gizzard is, is that. It's just really crunchy meat. Same thing with the intestine and the tripe. So besides the beef heart, it's all like crunchy meats, right? How do they cook this? this is, I think they barbecue char grill this, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And it's all together, so uh, it depends on the intensity of the fire. For example, this is a 10 minute dish. Uh -huh. in, to cook. Yeah. How come it took like 30 minutes for it to come here? So, okay, whatever. I want to try the tripe next. You got a piece of tripe? Here you go. Okay. Have a piece of tripe. That's a nice char tripe. <laughs> I, I took care of you right there. That's a beautiful piece of tripe. <laughs> Those of you who never had tripe before, tripe is one of my favorite hot pot ingredients of all time. Wow. First time ever having tripe like that? Mmm, I'm jealous of you. You gotta have this anytime you want. Mm. It's a little spicy. A little bit. You can taste the fire. It's like I'm chewing fire. What's great about this is, okay, usually when I eat pork intestine, it's smelly. It's a little smelly. You ever had pork intestine before? No. It's a little gross. <laughs> I mean, it's delicious, but it, you chew it, it has a little like pungent aftertaste to it. This is so clean. This just tastes like beef. I mean, I wonder if they do anything special to cow because it, there's really no bad aftertaste whatsoever. I mean, I love everything here. Oh. This is that sauce. I know it's a winner. I love the potatoes. You lived in the States. Do you remember the potatoes there? Only french fries. Yeah, so you remember it's not as creamy as this. No, definitely. I miss my food so much. This is... Yeah, and this is like, this is a whole different breed of potatoes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I'm gonna take a piece, I'm gonna put this on the core, I'm gonna dip it in some hot sauce. So just put everything on your plate. <laughs> okay, but I'm trying new things here, and I just wanna like put that on the potato. How often do you eat this? Actually, this is my first time in the year. In the year? Yeah. It's like an annual tradition for you? <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, there's a contrast here. <laughs> She's all like, hands off the table, cut into little chunks, well-mannered. I'm like, take a massive piece, stab a potato with it, and shove it all in my mouth. So we're gonna polish all this off. I think we can do it. Okay, you you do the corn. Okay. I'm gonna tackle the inners. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna definitely. That's easily done. So we're gonna do all this, all right. and then and then we're, we're gonna knock this out. Okay. There we go. Uh -huh. All right. I think we did pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I, how do you feel? Yes. I well, I was able to finish at the same time with you. So yes. I feel. I don't know. It's eating a lot of cow stomach uh, makes my stomach a little weird. <laughs> I don't know if that's because I'm eating stomach uh, or whatever the reason. I started off really strong. I mean, I'm just like eating it. I'm just like, you know what? I feel pretty good. And after all of a sudden, you know, it's kind of like the, the food Sorry, punches yeah. you in the stomach a little bit, yeah. uh, literally. Um, the stomach punched me in the stomach. Uh, but thank you so much for, for introducing me to, to this cuisine and taking me here. Um, I'm gonna go run across that bridge now. And don't don't forget to make a wish. Let's go make a wish. All right, I am at one end of the Bridge of Sai. Now, if you're wondering why it's called the Bridge of Sai, it's really interesting. Um, apparently, a uh, long time ago, poets used to come here to try to woo women, and that's why it's called the Bridge of ah, Sai. Uh, no one really knows why. I don't really know. Uh, my friends don't really know why you have to hold your breath and run across, and that grants you a wish. But you know what? Tradition is tradition. Let's do it. And I have a wish in mind already. I can't tell you guys, obviously. It is food related. I can't tell you. Otherwise, it won't come true. Otherwise, I won't get to eat. I've said too much already. Ready? Uh -huh. right. There we go. My wish is granted. Yeah. Wait, where's my pizza? Guys, the barbecue meat tour continues, and tonight I am at Largo Mar, beautiful shopping center in the heart of Lima, right by the beach. I feel the breeze. I smell the ocean. It's time for dinner. We're going and getting some traditional Peruvian dishes yes. with tons of meat inside, right? Yes. <laughs> what, are, what are we eating tonight? Well, we're meeting today at Tanta. Uh, it's a very famous restaurant of the renewed chef um, Gaston Curio. Uh, okay. It's a very, very famous uh, chef that put the Peruvian gastronomy on the world. Okay, so we're gonna go eat there. Are you gonna tell me about what we're eating when we get I'm there? I'm gonna show you my favorite dish in Tanta, so. Excited, let's, let's go, let's All go. Right. Patricia, you said this is your favorite dish? Yes, lomo saltado. Lomo saltado. 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 Sorry, I... Okay, what is it? It's a beef stir fry with onions and uh, tomatoes. It's also served with french fries uh -huh. and with rice and corn. Okay, I'm excited to try it. Let's get it. It smells incredible. Let's show a little bit. I'll give you the first bite, though. You, you want to give me the first bite? Yeah. I can't. Okay, well... I've had this dish too, way too much. Okay, all right. I'm not trying not to be a gentleman, but like, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll take it. So this is really interesting. It, it's colorful, first of all. I've never had fries stir fried with uh, beef before, but it's crispy. Look at this beef. This is tender. Yeah. Is it always tender? Yes. It should be. It should it's be. like a meat pillow. <laughs> Look at the juice coming out of this. It's just glistening. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm gonna cut it open. And I'm just gonna take a bite with some onions. That's incredible. I don't feel like the sauce is very complex. I think it's beef gravy, some of that smoky pepper flavor in there. But I don't know what it is with the onions. I had a seafood dish that was like full of onions. And the onions were, were like the star. Crispy, juicy, and sweet. There's something about Peruvian onions, the way you guys put onions into your dishes. It's incredible. So what do you like most about this dish? Actually, I just mix it all. You mix it all? Uh, yeah. You mix with the rice? Yeah. Is that what people usually do, or is that just what you do? Yeah, no, no. That's, that's what everyone does? OK, all right, let's do it. I'm going to get a couple of different uh, forks here. No, thank you. So you get the gravy on the potatoes and the rice, so it just touches everything. Yeah. Let's okay. take a bite together. I'm going to get a potato and a bunch of rice and a, and a chunk of beef. And you don't have a, any beef at all. You want a piece of beef? All right, here we go. Cheers. Mm, 
this girl definitely knows how to eat this dish. I love Peruvian rice, but it's not mushy. I love non-mushy rice, but I, I, I don't know how I feel about the potatoes in the rice because it, it might be a little a starch overload yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> But for me, the star, beef, the rice, the peppers, and that sauce. I feel like that sauce just brings everything together. And this onions, man. Don't sleep on the onions in Peru. Do not. Mm. And I didn't, I didn't know Peruvians eat so much rice. Like, like we eat rice all the time. Is that why Peruvian food is, is kind of like overly seasoned? <laughs> but I like it. I mean, I've always been told like I, I love heavy flavors. So this is right up my alley. I think this dish is actually kind of refreshing because you got that nice crunch of the onions. We haven't tried the tomatoes yet. I'm gonna try a piece of the tomato. So the tomato is nice and juicy, sweet. I think this dish, like you said, mix it all together, kind of make the flavor kind of just dance around, form a uh, kind of synchronized performance in your mouth when you take a bite. That's a great way to eat this dish. So guys, yeah, that was a lot of meat. I, I did these meals throughout just like a couple of days. So I, I'm up to here with beef. I am officially under the influence of beef. So I'm slurring my speech for talking really slow. That's that's the reason. I'm back at the beach because I feel like I need to take a walk or maybe maybe a swim just to digest everything. But with that said, it has been some fantastic meals. And I feel like I learned a lot as well. As always, all the places I went to is listed for you guys in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. And until we eat again, I'll see you later. And yeah, I, I need this walk. I really need this walk. I. I wish this beach was longer. Cause you know that food baby? Yeah, she's a foreman.